Hello there YouTube. Sick with a cold for a few days. I might not sound normal. This is the slickest pair of needle nose pliers you will ever see. I got this idea from watching Keith Fenner. When you're picking up all the swarf around the lathe with it running, I took the rubber grips off, ground it down. I've used everything from a little diamond wheel I had, those little flat ones I used to cut with, and an emery stone. I don't know if you can hear the cardinal there. It's actually 70 plus today after all the cold we've had. It's supposed to thunderstorm, but these are the slickest things you'll ever see. Nice and smooth. There's nothing in the jaws. They were always that way, except machine marks, they're machines. They're like a curved swirl look to it. But you can get right down here and pick up this little stuff. I have a box over there at the end of my bench. Down the end of my bench I have a box where I sweep everything in so it don't go on the floor. But We had this set up so we're practicing doing a little boring with the meter back there which is backwards. When you come out the needle's going to go down. We're figuring that out. But that seems to be working good. We're still practicing here just on a piece of aluminum. But Not to brag but those are nice. They're a little rough in here but you're never really going to have your hands in there. The idea is if these snagged on something, they'll slip out of your hand. And when you know when you're getting your hands oiled and we're going, you know they're going to be even more slippery. You'll probably drop them. But enough of that short video. I'll take a snap, a couple pictures of them, in case anybody wants to get the idea. They can make these two nice and smooth. Thanks for watching.